Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.3 on VMware Workstation. The process is same for all Red Hat Enterprise Linux versions. Go to developer.redhat.com. I will keep this link in the video description. Click on products, then click on Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Now don't click on download. If you want latest version, then you have to click on this download RHL at no cost. For specific version, you have to click on this download or set sign up. Okay, click on it. Scroll down. See here we have the all the available downloads information. 8.9, 9.3, 8.8, 9 9.2, 9.0 and older versions. Okay. We have up to 8.1. So select the type of ISO download. I am going with DVD ISO, then click on download. Here we have to provide your email ID that registered with Red Hat account. It is free. If you don't have, you have to click on register for account. Then here we have to provide your email name, email ID. Okay. I am giving mine, then click on next. Then provide the password of the this email which registered with Red Hat account. Click on login. Once login is success, it automatically starts the download. Wait. Notice here. See, download has been started. Go to downloads. Cancel this one because I have already downloaded. In your case, wait until download completes. Once download is completed, then open VMware Workstation Player or VMware Workstation Pro. Both are same. If you don't have VMware Workstation Player on your machine, go through the link provided in the video description and install it. Start VMware. See, I have VMware Workstation 17 Player. Click on it. Maximize the screen. See, these are the list of the virtual machines available in my VMware workstation player. For new one, you have to click on create a new virtual machine. Then in the list, then in installer disk image file, you have to click on browse. Then select the downloaded ISO file and click on OK. Then next, then click on, then here we have to provide the name. I am giving same name. Can be anything. Provide the password. Click on next. Provide the name for this virtual machine. I am giving 93. Select the path to store this virtual machine files and folders. Select the folder. If you don't have folder, you have to click on make new folder and provide it. Click on next. Here we have to provide the R disk size. R disk size that I am giving 50 gigabytes. Then click on next. This is the summary. If you want to edit any one of these settings, we have to click on this customize hardware. I want to increase the RAM size. Or I want to increase the memory size to 4 gigabytes. You just move this pointer to here or here you can type. Okay. Remaining all are fine for me. Close this one. Okay, click on finish or also notice here power on this virtual machine after creation. If you don't want to on, you have to uncheck this one. I want to power on this virtual machine after creation. So click on finish. The installation automatically starts. Use up and down arrows and select the option. Go with the first option that is install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.3 and hit enter. Select the language and click on continue. See here the text with red color must be selected. Otherwise this begin installation will be grayed out. Okay. So, Select the software selection 
we want to select any one of particular things you have to select from the left base environment and you have to select the options okay i'm okay with this server with the gui click on okay in server with gui if you want to add anyone you have to check the check boxes okay then click on done now select the installation destination i'm okay with default one click on done we must set the password for the root user click on done here provide the username password click on done now it is go now it will create the user r2 schools okay click on begin installation this may take time i will resume once installation completes after installation it will ask us to reboot the system See, installation has been completed. Click on Reboot System. Click on username, then provide the password which we have given. No thanks. Now verify whether this is 9.3 or not. Click on activities, then click on terminal, then more slash etc os hyphen release see we have installed red hat version 9.3 so in this video we have seen how to download and install red hat enterprise linux 9.3 on vmware workstation player in windows environment for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you